Android Authority, what is going on? My name is Kevin the Tech Ninja, and these are my favorite cases for the Nexus 5. Now these cases range between $20 and $70. Now let's figure out if it's truly you get what you pay for. There are four cases that I really enjoy for the Nexus 5. Two of the cases are official cases, and the other two are from a third party company. The first case is the official Nexus 5 bumper case. This case comes in a variety of bold colors. And this is a case that you put on your device if you really want it to stand out. Burned into the back of the case is the word Nexus in that familiar font. The cutouts are precise and it does not have any wasted space. So for example, on the lens, only the black part that is surrounding it is shown. And it has a separate cutout for the flash. Top of the case has a cutout for the headphones and also a tiny one for one of the sensors. If you go to the bottom side, there are cutouts for the speaker grills. And after inspecting this really close, it matches up to the actual speaker grill. Just the overall details with this bumper case is something you cannot truly appreciate unless you hold it. The soft touch rubber feels tight and secure around your device, and it should provide some shock protection since there are no moving parts. The buttons are covered and sealed, and out of the box, it does require a little bit of effort to press them down. And since the case is tough and it's flexible, it really should last for a while. And also, you can really tell the difference between this type of case and one of those knockoff cases you buy off eBay for 39 cents. This case costs $35 and can be purchased from the Google Play Store. Staying with the trend of official cases, next up is the official Nexus 5 Quick Cover Case. This case comes in two simple colors, black on black or white on gray. This is a slim case, so the top and bottoms are both exposed while they're in this case. This adds to the lightweight and the unobtrusive nature of this case. Just don't expect it to protect it from a fall. Oh sh The back of the case feels just like the black Nexus 5 or the second gen Nexus 7. The inside of the case is a soft velvet material that should keep the screen scratch and scuff free. All the cutouts in the case are precise just like the bumper case. And on the back, instead of the Nexus word, it has just a simple LG logo. Not as bold as the bumper case, but it's extremely sleek. Just like any phone or case using this type of material, it becomes a fingerprint magnet. And this case is no exception. I've seen horror stories with every phone and to be honest, I'm just worried with this case, if I drop it, the flap will open up and the phone will fall screen first. I would have liked some type of magnet mechanism or something to actually hold the protector on until you peel it off. But that's just my opinion. Ultimately, it's your decision if a $50 price tag is worth it to you. The third case is called the Neo Hybrid and it's by Spigen. This is a combo case with hard metal edges with a soft, flexible rubber case on the inside. This concept sounds cool, but this interpretation of this falls a bit shorter of what I expect. Still, once the case is put together and the phone is in it, this case holds up well. The cutouts are not super precise as the official cases. They're a bit larger than they should be. It seems like Spigen was sort of estimating the size of these cutouts. But at the end of the day, it gets the job done. The back of the case has the same fingerprint magnet matte finish that we'd expect, and the metal trimming around the case makes it feel flush and smooth. The buttons are separate pieces, and this worries me about the longevity of the case. But as of right now, these buttons are doing their job. And on the back of the case, it has the patented Spigen logo. It also says Neo Hybrid along the edge of the metal casing. For what it is, it's a thin case and it feels just nice to hold. It adds a bit of weight to the device, but it makes it feel more solid in my opinion. This case is not perfect, but it's a great alternative if you want a different type of case. And this case sells for $20 on Amazon. My last case that I have for you today is the most expensive one. And if you're in the States, you may not have heard of this case brand, but they have a huge portfolio of cases. Also for what it's worth, it's one of the best cell phone accessories website I have ever seen. And I just feel so sexy looking at it. This is the LG Nexus 5 leather case by Norive. The case itself is a horizontal flip case. It hugs and grips my Nexus quite well. It's said to be made from premium leather. Now I'm not an upholstery expert by any means, but it feels like real leather to me. This case does not have much stitching, but where the stitching is, it looks perfect. And one thing that makes this case real unique is that it doesn't have real cutouts, but the design of the case allows you to have access to speaker grills, headphone jacks, sensors, power button, and SIM slot. The cover is also a smart cover, so when opening the case, the screen will turn on. This case is beautiful and there's no other way to put it. 
The top edges are gripped and also most of the sides, so it should hang on to your phone for a while. There's one minor gripe that I have in that it has the logo on the front of the case and if you're getting an all black case, you may want a sleek case that doesn't stick out or have anything or identifying markers. Well, this logo is always gonna be on your case. And that's one minor gripe that I have. But on the flip side, what you can do is you can actually customize this case fully. You can customize the texture, the color, and also the inner color as well. Now, when you make changes to the inner color or the lining, that is gonna be an additional charge. You can also have a clip put on this, either a plastic one or a metal clip. And this really helps you make the case into something of your own. If you're gonna spend a lot of money on something, make sure it's personalized to you, not just a cookie cutter, generic, random something, just something that has significance to you and something that you really enjoy. All right guys, that was it. Those were my favorite Nexus 5 cases. Now, I'd love to hear what you have, so you can leave that down below. Also, if you like what we do here at Android Authority, go ahead and leave us a like below and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great content for you right now. And we're also at CES, so we should be posting new and exclusive videos for you shortly. Once again, guys, my name is Kevin. You can find me on YouTube, Google+, and on Twitter. And this is Android Authority, your source for all things Android. Take care.